For today's Cyber CEO episode, something that real estate agents often get wrong is they try to run these businesses privately. And that's just not our business. That's just not our industry. You need as many eyes on your business as possible. And with Jeff coming in, more people know about the Temple team than ever before because more people are seeing us. We're more visible. We're out there. We're giving people advice. We're answering questions more than ever because Jeff is giving us that opportunity. And without that opportunity, those conversations just never are going to happen. Most people don't realize how easy it is to get leads. Getting leads is no problem. However, the follow-up, the consistent text messages, the emails, the phone calls that have to be done to actually convert those leads, that's where Jeff comes in, my cyber backer, and really helps out the team tremendously. Welcome to Cyber CEO, wherein we talk about how our cyber backers helped our cyber CEOs take their businesses to the next level. Cyber CEO is powered by Cyberbacker, the world's leading provider of admin support services from anywhere in the world to anyone in the world. Please visit our website www.cyberbacker.com for more details. Another awesome day here at Cyberbacker. My name is Jello. We're back with another episode of Cyber CEO. And of course, we have a very special guest on the show. KT, how are you doing today? I'm good, man. Thank you for having me. Yeah, we're very excited to talk to you, of course, about your experience with Cyberbacker and virtual leverage. So um, before we talk about that, I um, just need your help here real quick. Um, can you tell us something about yourself and your business, KT? About myself. Well, right now, the biggest thing is I'm getting married this weekend. Wow. So that that is the biggest thing about myself. It's kind of taken over my life for the past couple <laughs> months, getting ready for this. Um, and then for my business, uh, I uh, have a team in the Charlotte, North Carolina area called the Temple Team. Uh, and I also run a virtual market center tech trainer business as well. Mm -hmm. And I have a podcast called the TNT podcast uh, that I host with my dad, who's also my business partner. Gosh, first off, congratulations, of course, on the upcoming wedding. And uh, thank you. A lot of things for you to do on a daily basis. I can, I can only imagine what your calendar looks like. It must be pretty crazy every day. I only get through it with the help of my cyber backers. <laughs> <laughs> there we go with the help of your cyber backers. So um, how did you first find out about Cyberbacker anyway? They sponsored one of our events. Uh, we have an event at Keller Williams called Bold. And uh, they were a sponsor years and years ago. Uh, and that's how I first came to know about Cyberbacker. Okay, so an event that was sponsored by Cyberbacker. Now, how about virtual leverage, though? Was is this your first time to work with someone virtual, or did you ex experience it before? So this is the first time I've experienced it at an agent capacity. When mm -hmm. I, I was formerly a team leader for a Keller Williams office, and we've had multiple Cyberbackers uh, that help manage our recruiting efforts and marketing efforts there, and and that was my first experience with virtual leverage. Uh, and now similar, but very different at the same time of using one for a real estate team instead. So how about now, this time as an agent, and how long have you been partnered with your cyberbacker? I think we're coming up on six months with Jeff uh, as our cyberbacker, somewhere around there. So six months, fairly new, then not get a year in the partnership. Yeah. Now, um, talk to me more about um, that, that. I mean, talk to me about your cyberbacker, Jeff. What's it like working with him every day? Jeff is awesome, man. He, um, I, I've taught classes about social media marketing, lead follow-up plans, and the the biggest hurdle that you have with doing those things is the time constraint of having it. So Jeff comes in and he does everything that I just physically don't have time for. So for example, running Facebook ads, making sure our Google lead programs up and running. And then on top of that, following up with them. Most people don't realize how easy it is to get leads. Getting leads is no problem. However, the follow-up, the consistent text messages, the emails, the phone calls that have to be done to actually convert those leads, that's where Jeff comes in, my cyber backer, and really helps out the team tremendously. Gosh, imagine it's only been six months in the partner. Imagine what you guys can do, let's say, in a year's time, right? That's yeah, exciting. Part. Absolutely. 
Now, um, talk to me more about that. Um, talk to me about tasks. What other t- things do you ask Jeff to help out with in the business? So it's he's really our we we it's a lead generation cyber backer, mm-hmm. I think is the correct term. Mm-hmm. However, he's our marketing manager, uh, the client care specialist behind the scenes. So he's reaching out to get us uh, uh, reviews on our website, mm-hmm. reviews on Google. So he'll make those database phone calls for us. He also does all of the um image images Mm -hmm. that we just don't have time to create those little templates so for example when we do an episode of our podcast he creates a personalized template every single time you know announcing our guest showing the title and then he does all the posting of that to our instagram to our facebook to our business pages creates the email marketing letter to go out for that Mm -hmm. so we have an entire system based off each activity so if it's a podcast What's the marketing plan behind that? And he's in charge of implementing that for us. When we run an ad campaign, what's the marketing checklist for that? And then he runs the play on that. So it based off whatever activity we're doing, he knows exactly what the process is to make sure those things get out into the world and make sure we have enough eyes on it for us to, you know, to, to say, hey, we're going to spend time and money on this. Jeff is in charge of making sure that the ROI is there of us actually doing it in the first place. Wow. So really, he's almost everywhere in the business now, then, especially with the marketing piece, getting the word out there about the business then. Am I right? Exactly. Gosh. Now, I want to know, talk more about that because, of course, here in Cyberbacker, we are really big when it comes to growth. We really believe in that. So in your Cyberbacker's growth, of course, it's only been six months. Um, this growth is not going to stop. Do you have any new, let's say, tasks that you're planning to let him do, let's say, within the next few months from today? Yeah, we we just uh, came up with what, like I said, I'm I'm getting married. I'll be on my honeymoon. So we're trying to figure out what are the things he's going to do for two weeks while I'm gone. And so he's going to be working with our listing coordinator and they are starting our email newsletter. You know, we've been doing one monthly. So we're like, well, let's ramp it up to weekly. And then how do we maximize that? So he'll be doing with working with our listing coordinator, you know, because he can't get the numbers. He's not an agent. So he doesn't have the same information. However, our listing coordinator is. So he'll come up. They'll come up with one together of a topic for each week for our newsletter. And then again, we want to maximize that effort. So what does the social media graphic look like? with that newsletter. And then once that newsletter is done, uh, it needs to go on our blog for our website. So not only is it going to be a newsletter, but because we have Jeff, our cyber backer, he's going to be maximizing that one newsletter to get it as many places as possible. So that's the new, and we came up with that this morning. That was this morning's (laughs) meeting. Yeah. This morning's meeting, the Monday morning meeting, that's going to be very exciting for more opportunities for him to grow, of course, when there's a lot to do. Now, um, how about the partnership? I know it's only been six months that you've been working together, but um, what I'd like to know is uh, how did this become such a successful partnership between the both of you? Because the way you talk about them, it feels like you've been working for a lot more than just six months. Well, it's it, if I wasn't, so my team is owned by my parents and they had no interest and really no um you know, even they haven't even thought about virtual leverage. And because I had worked with one before, uh, I was able to come in and implement plays that I've done with previous cyber backers in the past that we were doing at a brokerage level instead of a team level. Mm -hmm. And because of that, I'm able to come in and my one job is to work with Jeff on the team. So minus me selling and stuff like that. Yeah. My job is to make sure that Jeff is working at, at a, consistent rate and make sure that the activities work. I talked to a lot of agents who use Cyberbacker and it seems like the biggest problem is they don't know what that person should be doing with them. They don't know how to keep that person accountable. And luckily I've already had that experience. So I was able to come in and very quickly say, this is what Jeff needs to be doing. And this is how we're going to do it. Uh, so really having a plan even before you partner with the Cyberbacker, I think that's very yeah. important before you jump into the partnership, right? Exactly. Exactly. And that's with your process where you build that resume with the person that's getting ready to hire the cyber backer. That's awesome. But then you've the the agent then needs to figure out how to implement that plan. You know, it's not just like a magic person 
that's just going to do all this yeah. without your input. You've got to be there. You've got to be meeting with that cyber backer every day. Being virtual or in person, there's no difference. You need to be working with your cyber backer every single day to make sure these plays actually happen. Absolutely agree 100%. Now, how about that? A meeting with your cyber backer, it's communication. How important is that in any partnership, may it be virtual or not? Yeah, I, I mean, it doesn't matter. You can have a virtual or a physical, but if you're not, if somebody's not keeping somebody else accountable, then uh, then everything always is going to fall apart. I mean, me, myself, I, I'm a business owner. I still have a coach for my business that I pay to keep me accountable just because everyone needs that person. There is always the example of like Tiger Woods, the greatest golfer in the world. Yeah. He's got five different coaches just to keep him accountable for all of his different efforts. And so if you're not there keeping your cyber backer accountable, then who is? He's just off. They're just operating blindly without your input. So we meet 15 minutes and that's all it takes is 15 minutes. For us to say, what did we do yesterday? How did it go? What are we doing today? And that's all it takes. And then we meet once a week for at least an hour to talk about the next week's plan. So just those. And so that takes up two hours out of my week to meet with my cyber backer. But those are the most valuable two hours that I spend to make sure that this other human is getting the work that needs to be done. Yes, absolutely agree again there, especially when it comes to accountability. I think it's also partly I'm getting used to working with each other because if you yeah. don't really meet with your cyber backer, then there's there's not a partnership that's being built if you don't really meet a lot of times with your spy, cyber backer, especially during the beginning of the partnership, right? Exactly. Gosh. Yeah, you have to. In the beginning, you should be meeting with them 30 minutes Absolutely. at least every single day to really dive in deep. You know, these people, they are not. We're, we're in the real estate field. Cyberbacker, you can use it for any business, any, in, any, any industry can use a cyberbacker. However, in the real estate field, your cyberbacker is not a real estate agent. You have to have that real estate agent touch in their, in their daily activities or it's, or it's not going to work. You've got to be there and you've got to hold that person accountable. 100% agree with you there. Now, um, one last question for you, KT, while I still have you. Um, I know it's only been a few months that you've been working with Jeff, but what I'd like to know is what's been the biggest impact of virtual leverage in the business so far? The biggest impact is just the eyes that are on our business now. You know, there, you know, there's a um, uh, something that real estate agents often get wrong is they try to run these these businesses privately. You know. And that's just not our business. That's just not our industry. You need as many eyes on your business as possible. And with Jeff coming in, more people know about the Temple team than ever before because more people are seeing us. We're more visible. We're out there. We're, we're giving people advice. We're answering questions more than ever because Jeff is giving us that opportunity. And without that opportunity, those conversations just never are going to happen. Absolutely true. Now, we've been talking about Jeff, by the way, for a while now. And for sure, once we have this online and uploaded, he's going to be able to listen and watch this. So before he doesn't even end... know I'm here doing this. I haven't <laughs> even told him about that. So don't surprise him. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a good surprise. But would you want to give him a quick shout out before we end today, KT? Absolutely. You're the man, Jeff. Keep it up, dude. There My thumbs go. aren't showing. Yeah, there we go. Keep it up, man. <laughs> now, we are very, very excited to see the continued success and growth of this partnership. And also, AT, congratulations again on the wedding. Thank you very much for being on the show. You have a great day now, all right? Take care. My pleasure. Anytime. Thank you for having me. Thank you for listening to our daily dose of Cyber CEO. Stay tuned to know more about how Cyberbacker creates a difference in this digital time and age. You can visit our website www.cyberbacker.com and follow our social media pages on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube, and Spotify.